So what about sit panels in a fire? Hey, I'm Josh Beasley with Eco Panels of Tennessee. And uh, sit panels, if, if you do some research, a lot of the industry uses EPS, uh, expanded polystyr polystyrene foam, styrofoam, right? And as you know, you've, well, we've all played with styrofoam and fire. It melts, it, it disappears, basically. Uh, I don't need to put a flame to this for you to know what happens to styrofoam. So um, that said, there is a much better option, and that is by using a polyurethane-based foam like we do here at Eco Panels of Tennessee. Uh, our polyurethane foam does not melt at any temperature. It will catch a flame, but really you need three things for something to burn, right? You need ignition, you need oxygen, and you need fuel for it to keep burning. And so our foam doesn't really work well with any of that. It, it, uh, it doesn't serve as its own fuel, right? And so when you put fire to it, and we're about to do that in just a second, then it'll flame up a little bit, but as soon as you take the fire away, it goes out and, and it doesn't melt, it doesn't disappear. So will it eventually burn? Yes, I mean, absolutely, uh, it, it will. But what will happen is it gives you, a, you and first responders much more time to either escape safely or address the fire whether the, the fire is outside in a wildfire type situation or maybe, I hate to say it, but maybe inside of a home, but um, polyurethane foam performs much better. And so we'll take a torch. So we have both ignition, we have the fuel, and uh, we've got oxygen here. This is gonna be uh, somewhere around 3000 degrees. And note that my hand is right behind this, and this is about an inch of foam, right? So we can take this, you can see it flame up a little bit. Hopefully you can see the glow. I take that away and I can put my hand right on this and it's just barely warm, right? And so what's happening is all those little cells in that polyurethane foam is just, is not, um, not conducting that heat throughout. There's no oxygen there within that. And there's just nothing there to melt or burn away really. And so it's a much safer product, has a class one fire rating on its own. And so that is what happens if uh, your SIP home is exposed to fire. If it's an eco panel, if it's made with a polyurethane foam like we have, then yes, it's gonna be much, much safer, a lot safer than a conventional framed home because our solid cores don't leave room for air within your walls. If you've built with a two by four or two by six house and you, maybe you have batten insulation in the walls, then you have those open air cavities throughout and they act like flues, right? So in our case, we have two pieces of OSB and then all the rest of that wall is filled up with this type of foam. Super safe and um, much better alternative for building your new home. If you're interested in building your new home, we would love to send you an assembly manual and we would love for you to come visit us here in Hermitage Springs, Tennessee. We'll give you a tour of the place, show you how we make our panels, how we set them up, go through the process so you're comfortable with, um, uh, with how to move forward in building your new home with scent panels. We'd love to have you come see us. Thanks.